Combat Outpost Shur is located deep in southern Helmand Province, Afghanistan. And the men of Fox Company 2nd Battalion, 2nd Marines, along with a component of the Afghan National Army, own this battle space. The heart of the Taliban insurgency is located here. This is the front line of the war in Afghanistan, and the men of Fox 2-2 and the ANA take the fight to the enemy's front door every day. Today, ANA soldiers will lead the patrol, and they've requested to go back into a very dangerous area. So the ANA, that's what they want to do, is go up there and uh, finish clearing out some of these buildings that we didn't get a chance to get to that day. Um, the gear, weapons, and ammunition each man carries weighs close to 60 pounds. The squad will walk about two miles through mostly fertile farmland to get to their objective. And the Taliban know they're coming. The fire's up here that we see, like that one right up there that's lit on the side of the road, uh, we suspect they're a form of signaling. Marine so. squad leader Sergeant Aaron Reed says the key to the fight is winning over local people. It's a tough task, made more difficult because the locals question the Marines' commitment to stay and fight. They don't, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to trust us because they don't think we're going to be here for the long haul. So, I guess, just trying to get these people to stand up for themselves against the Taliban would be my idea of, of success for us. While on patrol, the squad tries to stay off the road as much as possible. They change their pattern constantly because they know the Taliban is watching. They're also mindful and respectful of the ground they walk on because it belongs to local farmers. And it's the farmers trying to feed and support their family who are caught in the middle. Coalition forces and the ANA offer help and security, but the Taliban threaten all who accept it. Looks like a guy on that roof. Right. Directly through the tree line. The squad continues to advance, but within minutes they start taking fire. Marines say the Taliban often use women and children as human shields during firefights. So their return fire is controlled and focused. The courage these men demonstrate as they rush towards gunfire is beyond explanation. The squad leader stays in contact with the command post updating them on the situation. Standing by. Okay, watch friendly fire. You still got elements to the southeast of them. We get set. You rush at 10 o'clock. The men provide constant fluid cover for their brothers as they close with the enemy. And then, silence. Marines say the Taliban melt back into the population at will, hiding their weapons where they can and threatening anyone who alerts coalition forces to their location. Last time we only made it to that corn berm right there and they started firing. With the ANA in the lead, the squad begins yet another methodical search of the area. And the daily rituals of life continue. Sergeant Reed says the locals in this area still won't talk to Marines because the Taliban are still here. But he knows that'll change, and he has his own example. It's just like this area immediate to us. At first, they didn't want to say nothing. The kids didn't want to play. But now that the Taliban is not here, now that we have this kind of halo around us of safe zone, the people are all out. Kids want candy, pens. People are talk. People smile, laugh, talk to you, and this and that. The Marines of Fox 2-2 and their ANA partners will return here in a few days with every intention of gaining the trust of the locals, one village at a time. Gunnery Sergeant Jimmy Steer, Combat Outpost Sure, Afghanistan.